Peace, y'all. Only scoot back a little bit. Um, I'm making this video because are you thinking about getting your master's degree in so short? Okay, so I'm not gonna try to keep it long, but a brief overview. I graduated with my bachelor's degree in 2021. Um, I got my master's degree in 2022. Um, so it's about five months. Well, not 10, that's like 10, but it's about five months after graduating with my graduate degree I'm in, uh, in social work. So I have MSW, which is a master's degree in social work. Um, and I'm just giving people little, little pointers because I feel like personally, I'm at like a bit of an awkward point with the career. Um, so my advice would be, before you get a master's degree in social work, work in the field work in the field work in the field not an internship work in the field i gotta pause on that work in the field i say that because social work is not social working like i thought it would be sorry to look creepy but it's not um it's just not um so let me give a little background um so leading up to me graduating with my undergrad degree i had four opportunities two were at dhr um one was a case manager one was a therapeutic aide and the other two were at therapeutic foster case therapeutic foster care agencies as case managers um but i decided to decline those because i wanted to just finish the degree or i felt that's what i should be doing um and around that time i was praying a lot about my decision i had times where i couldn't sleep because i was wondering if i was making the right decision for my life um yeah and i feel like Looking back, God sent me four opportunities to just tell me to take my time. But I let my own motivations and my own eager to be successful get in the way and just finish my degree. Uh, well, start another degree and finish it. Um, so I finished the master's degree in one year. Um, and it was really hard. And I made a lot of videos of me crying on YouTube, but I deleted them all because I actually hate people who cry on YouTube. So they were like cringy to watch because it was me. But yes, just work in the field. Literally work in the field. And if you can handle it at a BSW level, you'll be cool in a master's degree level. But for me, it was a bit awkward because I was a senior around the time COVID hit, so I didn't really get a good internship. Um, well, none of my classmates really got a good internship. Um, we kind of just got like scraps of helping people, like helping people, but staying in the office. Sorry, I had to take up helping people, but staying in the office. So I felt like I really never got a really good idea of what being a case manager was like. And now that I do it, it's overrated. It's overrated literally i find myself bringing my work home every day and i know i have a lot of energy now but it's really draining and i just don't see myself doing this for too much longer um i just don't um yeah i love the population that i work with now um i work with um young adults who are at risk um, so they're 17 to 21 and have a really good relationship with them. But I just don't feel like I'm helping them in the ways that I thought I would be helping them. Um, yeah. So, and not just that, that's not the only reason I'm questioning it. Um, I had a lot of questionable thoughts while I was in the program and before I even got in the program, but I kind of just let, um, my professors and like, all the other social workers I meet kind of pressure me to getting my master's degree. Um, Cause a lot of them will hit you with the, you won't make that much money or you might as well get it, you're young. But please do not let that be your motivation for getting a degree. 
please do not let that be your motivation for getting a degree because you're going to be like me and you're going to regret it and you're going to wish that you would listen to yourself before other people because now that i look back on it i should have been like well then why don't you work in the field anymore but that's like a whole different story but yeah just please take your time and actually grow in the field so it, you can make sure that not just you you fit for the field but the field actually is something that fits you make sure you can't you feel comfortable taking work home and you feel comfortable kind of being stressed out all the time and just make sure that's something you can handle because me as a person I'm not like that. I don't want to bring work home with me. I don't want to feel like I have to be organized every day um, and be organized for everybody's life. And I don't want to feel like I got to work on a time crunch every day. Um, I don't want to feel like just to do something fun is going to be draining. Um, I don't want to feel like my creativity can't be exposed in my work. Um, it's kind of all black and white. And from the outside, um, case management for me felt like a place where you could kind of incorporate your own personality and the work and how you help people. But that's not it. Um, so yeah, like I'm at my point in my life right now where I'm, I'm questioning what can my social work degree, what else can I do with my degree, um, besides be a case manager, um, and me and a couple of my classmates, I was studying for the licensure um, to become a licensed master social worker. But I put a pause on that because I just don't know if this is something I can do. Um, yeah. And I'm only 24. Um, so, yeah, but this is just not something I think that I can do. Um, the field is beautiful and we you can really make a difference out in the world but at what cost like kind of that's where i'm at like at what cost um so my advice would be to anybody thinking that they want to get a master's degree in social work make sure you have at least one or two years of experience in the field not internships not any of that actual experience experience being a case manager experience bringing a program manager just experience so that way you can make an educated thoughtful decision about hey is this degree going to really serve me a purpose and what i really want to do or do i kind of just feel pressured because that's what seems right um and like i said earlier i prayed about it a lot and god sent me four not one, not two, but four opportunities for me to get that hands-on experience. But I let my own motivations and my own head get in my way. And now I'm thinking, dang, I should have just been patient and really meditated on what God was showing me. And really took heed to that. And I could have been a teacher. I could have done anything else, but... I guess it's too late for wishes and coulda, shoulda, but yeah, really take your time. Take your time. It's not a, it's not a race and you think it'll be a different pay grade, but it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Like, it's literally not. Like it ain't with the experience or without the experience it ain't but yeah that's where i'm at right now i don't know what's next um but i'm gonna pray about it and i just wanted to make this video because it wasn't a lot of videos centered around what i wanted to talk about or how i was feeling i watched a lot of videos on people saying why they left social work or why they left social services agencies but i just wanted to make this video for anybody who is at that bachelor's degree level considering getting your master's degree 
really get that experience before you go jump straight right in. And I know a lot of people will pressure you just to go straight through, but that's not it. You'll never, you'll never understand if the field is truly for you until you work in it. Um, or you'll waste a lot of time and a lot of money. Um, and yeah, that's all I had to say. Um, just listen to your spirit. Um, and kind of just block out what everyone else is saying. Because sometimes that can override your spirit. Especially if like, you're not, you're praying, but you're not listening. Um, so yeah. I hope this helps somebody. Um, I can keep y'all updated on what I choose to do or how it ends for me. Um, so just comment below. Um, this is by far not um, a, a well thought out uh, video or anything like that. I just wanted to keep it real because a lot of people don't keep it real. Not a lot of people you meet in person. Um, and it is a need for social workers and it's a need for a lot of helping professions. But this one is something that you have to be dedicated to. Like you have to breathe, eat, and sleep this kind of work. Um, and if you're not somebody who is necessarily at that point, really think about it. Um, so yeah, I hope this helps somebody. Um, have a good day. Peace y'all.